Welcome back everybody. This is Salon Tools and this is a new friend of mine. This is Ryan. I'm trying to come up with a nickname for Ryan. Ryan is a, a pastor here. So I was trying to come up with something that, you know, went along with that as far as maybe the spiritual tools or I don't know, whatever it was. But then I thought maybe we should just own your TikTok yeah. username, which is Homeowner Noobs. Homeowner Noobs. He's a homeowner noob. I did have a, a nickname for your son though, because being the son of a pastor, Billy Ray? Anybody? Billy Ray was a preacher's son And when his daddy would visit he'd come along The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man Huh? Huh? <laughs> so anyway, Ryan, homeowner noob, <laughs> is a homeowner noob. Well, see, at least this home, right? Yeah. So, moved here how long ago? Two months. Two Three months ago. So the grass has not even been alive. Are you new to Bermuda? New to Bermuda grass, uh, right? Well, I had a little bit uh, in, my, in, in Kansas there, but it wasn't dominant, so yes. Kind of uh, more of a pest yes, at your lawn. Yes, it was more of a pest than <laughs> Than what lawn. you actually wanted, yeah. yeah. So it wasn't a Bermuda lawn. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it is, it's a different ball game dealing with Bermuda versus doing something that you, you know, seed right. in the fall every year right. or whatever. But, um, so yeah, we're gonna go through um, pre-emergent today. That's the goal is we're gonna put down pre-emergent. Tell me, you did do, you have done something as far as lawn care. What did you do on this right. lawn already? Yeah, I've put down some granule weed and feed is all that I've done. So the weed and feed granules did work a little bit. We were walking around and looking at the dandelions have been toasted. There's a few dead dandelions and some other broad leaves but there's a lot of other stuff in this lawn that we want to kill. So we're putting down prodiamine. We're going to put down that pre-emergent because it has not been done, at least to our, I, I should say it hasn't been done. I just know by looking at it that pre-emergent has not been done on this lawn, uh, at least not in the near past. So we're going to put down pre-emergent. Um, it's kind of the middle of winter, so maybe not ideal timing, but the most ideal timing for pre-emergent is now, if you've never done it before. So do it, and then you start repeating it on a, on a regular interval to keep new weeds from popping up in the future. But we're also going to throw in some um, Celsius, so a really good weed killer for Bermuda grass, and we're going to toast pretty much all of this stuff. Um, so we get rid of the weeds and then prevent them from coming back in the spring. And basically what I wanted to do was have Ryan do it. We're going to have the homeowner noob do the pre-emergent and weed killing, and any questions that come up, uh, you'll let me know, and I'll address the questions, and that way everybody following along at home can learn as well. So, how big is your lawn? How big is it? He's like, here, so, so I've got about, I've got about, a, I think about an eighth of an acre of a lot. Yeah. Obviously the house takes up a lot of that. Lucky so. for you, I looked it up. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> there are several different websites you can go on uh, online and you can trace out your yard. This one happens to be called measuremylawn.com. Straightforward enough, right? Yeah. So here's your house. Uh -huh. um, looks like your so this section of lawn that we're standing on right now is just over a thousand square feet you've also got the little like strips between the sidewalk and the road to add into that so you might be getting close to 1200 1300 square feet for this section right here the one on the other side of the driveway another 600 square feet so the front yard right about 2000 square feet mm -hmm. that's close backyard is about 2000 square feet by itself mm -hmm. however the backyard is pretty heavily shaded. So we went and took a walk back there. Um, some beautiful trees and actually like a really beautiful view out the backyard, um, especially as the sun's rising, there's a little bit of a fog. It's really pretty back there. But with that shade comes some difficult conditions for growing Bermuda grass. And so my, I guess my advice was probably just own it and keep the fescue, maybe even seed some more fescue and or rye um to grow in that shade so you can have it there's also dogs back there so we want green grass for the kids to play dogs to run around use the bathroom that sort of stuff you don't want bare dirt uh, but bermuda grass is just not going to do well because it's pretty densely shaded back there and along the side of the house also all right so as far as mixing instructions we've got our prodiamine here and i love the prodiamine label basically because it shows you all this you can see how many months worth of coverage you're going to get depending on how concentrated you mix it up at um, it tells you dates for where you live and about what time crabgrass is going to germinate so you can get it out before that date. So always read the labels on your products. They have way more information than you probably think if you've never looked at them before. Um, but pretty much this tells us since we've got 2,000 square feet, it tells us how many ounces of product to mix up per 1,000 square feet. We just double it and then we're going to cover your front yard. What I do when I am spraying. So in theory, you could take a sprayer and calibrate it. So just put water in there, go out and spray it on your driveway. 
measure out how much space it covers per gallon and go through all that calibration. I've never, I have done it once and I couldn't remember the next time I went out. So what I've always done is I have mixed up the right amount in the sprayer for what's supposed to go out on the given. So in, in, in your area, this is 2000 square feet. I would just put in the tank what is supposed to cover 2000 square feet and then just use the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So probably even go over it kind of fast. What I would normally do is just kind of like walk because you'll eventually figure out how fast, you know, if you have the same sprayer every time and all that, you'll, you'll figure out how fast you're supposed to walk to get that amount out on your 2000 square feet. But if you have no idea, you can just walk pretty fast. You just do an amount that you think is going to be more. So in theory, we could mix up four gallons, uh, which is definitely going to cover more than 2000 square feet, but just so that you can get used to it and make sure that we don't, we don't over apply or not cover the full front yard. We could do four gallons, have you walk pretty fast and just cover everything once. We'll see how much is left in the tank. And then if it's like three gallons left, we'll go, okay, do that, but just like cut mm -hmm. your walking speed in half. But so if what happens if you over apply? Well, it's bad for the environment. It's pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so like with prodiamine, I mean, if you over apply, it's gonna control weeds longer, which sounds like a good thing. And it is a right. good thing, I guess, from that standpoint, but also then you're just wasting money because if you, you know, like think about if you've got the right amount for 2000 square feet and you walk super slow and only cover a thousand square feet, you've got to mix up another tank uh, and add more product. And so you have to buy more stuff. So it's more expensive also. So our timing is actually spot on perfect because it's morning time. We're spraying this out, but tonight is supposed to rain. So I think that that weed killer will have enough time to get on the leaves and do its work, but the prodiamine does need to be watered in. So it's going to rain tonight, water that into the ground and we'll be set. here turn around for us so we can see how much is left so it's less than two gallons left so we had it right at four we've got less than two gallons if it was right at two gallons obviously then he could go the other direction walk the same speed um, and just do a second pass since it's less than two gallons we've got a little bit less than half you need to walk a little bit faster um, so we're gonna go different direction walk a little bit faster and we should be right close to uh, running out perfectly at the end So I mentioned that it's going to rain today and I actually was curious. So I looked it up. I do want to put in a plug for domyown.com. I use domyown.com a lot because you can go in and type in whatever weed you have that you're specifically trying to control. You can type it into the search bar. It will give you active ingredients that will take care of that weed. If you don't know what weed it is, you can take a picture, you can send it to them and they'll tell you. Anyway, domyown.com is really useful. And, and that's what popped up in my search results. There's a frequently asked question from Mike. <laughs> Mike asks, how long does it take for Celsius to become rain fast? And then the answer in there tells you that from the label, Celsius will become rain fast approximately four to six hours after application. So I think that's the perfect amount of time for Celsius to be on the leaves of these weeds here to kill them. And then it's gonna rain to wash the prodiamine down into the soil, prevent new ones from popping up, like I said before. I was gonna tell you, so that prodiamine comes in that big jug like what I've got, which is the cheapest per application um, that I've found online. I will put the link down below for Yard Mastery. does sell it in a smaller bottle, so it's cheaper up front. Anyway, all this stuff's gonna be down there. I'll put the link um, to Pete, GCI Turf Academy website. The Flow Zone sprayers are top notch. Let me tell you what, did you like the sprayer? Yeah. <laughs> it's a dream. Um, but anyway, I think that kind of does it. So we're gonna get this lawn looking pretty nice. We're gonna get this lawn. Ryan's gonna get his lawn looking pretty nice this year. Um, I'm just here for, I guess, any advice if you need it. But I really, after doing pre-emergent, it's just if you mow more often, you know, you're going to be doing pretty great once midsummer rolls around. This Bermuda is going to just grow and thicken up like crazy. So I think you'll be happy with it. But otherwise, I guess we'll see y'all later.